Hello, ladies and gentlemen. So today I will be continuing on my nice little run of the Witcher Wild Hunt. So without further ado, let's see what we can see. Let's see, um, I will go to the ladies of the wood. I have to find these crones. Do things. If I can remember how to play this freaking game. This is why you don't get things on multiple platforms. Or why you don't try things on multiple platforms anyway. My buddy got Witcher. For PC. And I decided to try it. And I like it looks way prettier on the PC. Absolutely. Geralt looks way more haggard. Honor in the father, lad. It's not bad. Stad? I can't fucking speak today. My energy level is just waning like crazy. I need to like go do something. Build up that energy. Get that fear. I'm actually a little early too. That's not too bad, I guess. Let's go to Crook Backbog with my green sword and my white sword. Man, there are fucking soldiers everywhere. You know, I could slaughter all of you and nobody would ever know. Except for me. Oh, what is that? Oh, there's a place of power. What do we got here? We got Gahoos. Let's go. I'll just destroy it. And I will. Don't worry. Kaboom, asshole. Okay, you too. Fucking ghouls are everywhere. If they didn't need people, they'd be fine. Nobody would give them a second look. They'd be preventing academics, doing good things for the world. But no. They have to be little wankers. Oh, but there's some chests. What do we got? Crystallized essence? Ooh, what from repair kit? Advanced bombs. That's always nice. See where we're going. Do what we're doing. Shine that marks the start of the trail of treats. Fucking going on here? No, nothing worrisome. I'm probably miles the fuck away from this place. You can see what I can see traveling across this beautiful, beautiful countryside. Is that a windmill? I think it's a windmill. It was definitely drowners. Come at me, bro. Let's do this shit. I know you're out there too, buddy. You too. Come on, buddy. Boomed. Oh, 
feeling a little more on today though. Definitely paying way more attention to what's going on on the screen. Of course it's only the start of this six hour gigantic transmission. Oh, hoping some people will show. That is a bear. Now nah, I'll leave it with me. What up, Mr. Bear? Burn. You have some pretty good range. Eat it, Mr. Bear. He actually hit me and hurt a little bit. Not excessively, but a bit. Totally take a beggar, take Blossom, and check out this freaking place. What do we got? Ah, it's fucking locked. I wanted to explore it. it must be later fucking stuff. Well, let's see what's in this town. Seems like this is a town. Some really entertaining paint. What's up, kid? Just happy about snails. Best looking peasant I've seen so far. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. What else do we got around here? More peasants. It gets cold. Well, it's fucking raining and you're outside dorking around. Apparently people are hungry. That's also not surprising. Just another peasant village. Oh, this is an unusual series of stones. I wonder. What do we got? What do we got? We have a necker. I don't remember what neckers are. I just remember that they're monsters and therefore bad. And now they're dead. Put your sword away, Geralt. Let's cruise. Let's go for a walk in the woods. Legit though, I have no idea where I am. I'm just kind of going, seeing things. Like, you know, there's a mass amount of dropped forest. There should be some kind of monster around here somewhere. Oh, look, there's a thingy up here. Dragon Slayer's Grotto. This seems wise. Let's go check it out. Man, always trying to harsh my boss. What else we got in here? More raid. Huh.
What else we got in here? I know I can light this breezer. There's a chest. With spirits and powder. Oh, there's noises behind that wall. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Mushrooms. I don't really care about mushrooms. I'm doing pretty good on regular ingredients. Ooh, glyph of igni. What's this in here? Lots and lots of mushrooms. Rusty Skellige sword. Yeah, random stuff. Let's eat those blueberries and that chicken. Oh, look, I forgot to do that little bugger. Which is unfortunate because they have lots of stuff. Flying, so. Gotta blow through the hole in the wall. Come on! Bring it on, Wraithy. Ooh, that's dumb. Fish. Chicken. I'm not putting you in there. This is not happening. don't know what you are, but you break up real good. Apparently you eat real well. I'm having an adventure. Richard George's journal. Yeah, Griffin School Gear. That's uh medium. Medium armor, I think. Increases my signs, which is not something I really give too much of a care about. Hmm, something here. Where's that artifact Kira gave me? Yeah, exit. It's gonna put me back out into the light of day. Hurrah! Ooh, it's at the top. Yeah, it's at the top. That's a place of power. Just gonna figure out how to get up there. Yeah. 
Jordan. Which doesn't even matter. Yeah, but that's not what we're about. Need to find this trail of treats. What the fuck? I'm gonna save my game real quick. I really thought that guy was gonna be a lot harder than that. Well, let's see what the Wyvern Mutagen does. Wraith Mutagen is 50 Vitality. Night Wraith is 50. Grave Hag is 50. Wyvern, yes. Five attack boost. That means you. Up here. Let's move my huge amount of vitality. Uh, so we got the wrong pieces here. This one. Yeah. Boost up that attack power. Use those mutagens. Who the fuck is talking to me? Hi, Mary. You just missed me have a very disappointing wyvern fight. Run it. It's uh, it's kind of hot right there. We made a wooden woman. With donuts for a necklace. Why are you crushing the cookie? Don't crush the cookie. Why well, must follow this trail of sweets? That was cookies. With like mold and maggots and shit. Cause they just get left out there. This is not a good thing. This is in fact seeming to be very, very bad. Also, this is a legit trail. If someone gets lost on this, they're magical. Oh, look, a chest. I like chests. Do you like chests? Where am I going? 
go into... Oh, look, I found their house. You are the worst hiders ever. Dog went in the kitchen, stole Fair. a hunk of meat. Cook gave him a licking, strung him by his feet. Cooked and bled him empty, stripped his skin off clean. Loved and said how tasty, best sausage I have seen. Cook's hmm. a stupid killer, shouldn't have ate the pot. Now we light the fire, gonna roast him up. One, two, three. I have a couple programs on my phone, but Skype is almost never on. Interesting rhyme. Don't know you. Go away. What are you doing out here alone? He's not alone. He's with Gran. But where did you all come from? We's orphans. All of you? We's orphans. So there's orphans. Didn't know that. I'm looking for the witches of Crookback Bog. You look like a witch yourself. The w witches of the bog. Yep. We can't go in the bog. Gran don't let us. When my brother Zamek went missing, Gran said it was because he went in the woods and got lost. I have uh, a kick and line, but line tends that. to be more uh, still come back. consistent. A young woman got lost in the swamp. She has ashen hair and a scar on her face. You can see anyone like that? Ain't no lassies here. What am I? You're no lassie. Lassies got tits. They do. <laughs> lassies got tits. He says, I them lassies in the woods. They dazzle the soldiers with their tits. And it's torturing the poor lads. That's what he said. Wow. What? Listen, the girl I'm looking for, she's in trouble. I understand you might not want to help me, but you could try to help her. How do you know she was here? I heard she visited the witches in the swamp. But there's no witches here. There's only frogs. And snakes. And Johnny. What's this talk? What kind of jabbering is this, eh? No one allowed here. Just kids. My kids. They're allowed. But who are you? Wearing swords like a bandit. You look after these kids? They're my grandchildren. Kids love their boobs. Gonna be soup with scratchings for supper. Kids get lost in the woods. I miss them. Seen them in the woods. No one has. That did not make any kind of sense. Who's Johnny? Johnny, Johnny ate a cat. Come the more in some furry shack. Watch your language. What the fuck? They tell tales and tales, nor but tales. Just talking to the kids, ask them if they'd seen a young woman. Oh, I was a lovely young woman. Wore a long, beautiful braid my mummy did up for me. Had dresses with flowers on them. Your hair had dresses. Young, ashen hair. You're betrothed. Daughter, actually. Daughter? What? Oh, my dear, sweet little daughter and her sister. Where are they now? Maybe they've come to some I arm. think she might be tapped. A bit of help, please. A young, ashen haired woman. Just need to know if you've seen her. What are you looking at, children? Wash your hands, we'll go catch crickets. Won't learn anything from you. Aye, because I don't know nothing. That Johnny knows. Okay, John Snow. When I ask him something, he says, wait, I'll scratch my arse and tell you. Ugly word. What you saying? To the hut. You'll stand in the corner. I'll make sure you do. You. Be gone. Be gone. That's kind of dead endish. Gotta go to the hut and talk to the boy. The boy with boobs on his brain. Can't come in here. Not allowed in here. I just want to talk to the boy. Not allowed. It's not allowed. He won't talk to you anyway. Gran don't like you. And and Johnny's made up. And and strangers steal kids. It's a fat little kid. Just tell me where I can find Johnny. 
Johnny's made up. Be gone. Be gone. Okay. Let's find out about Johnny. Why don't you want to talk about Johnny? One of you knows about him. The others must too. It's just him who's pals with Johnny. They pick mushrooms and hunt snails. But Gran says Johnny's made up. Yeah. The boy who plays with Johnny, he must be brave. Not brave, just stupid. Sat his bare bum on an anthill once. But yeah, he plays with Johnny. He don't listen to Gran and goes in the woods, and then he's got to have a time out. And he eats snails. Yeah. Okay. Does your Gran treat you right? She ever hurt you? Never. When we're bad, she cries. She's scared. Say strangers might take us. And we'll disappear. Have any of you ever seen Johnny? Of course. Looks just like him. Then why do you say he's made up? Gran says so. And Gran knows lots. Okay. The girl I mentioned is in danger. You gotta help me get your Gran away from the hut so I can talk to Johnny's friend. Alright. But you've got to do something for us, too. Play hide and seek. Gran never does. Says her feet hurt. Let's play. You hide, but if I find you, you have to help me talk to the boy who knows Johnny. He thinks he'll find us easy. Means he's never hidden the black ones. No looking, and you have to count out loud. All your fingers, toes, too. Oh, good One, lord. Two. Three, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ready or not, here I go. Oh, I have to go find friggin' children. I have to climb this. I don't know what you want from me. Oh, you little shitbag. Found you. You can stop hiding. To the next one. Are you laughing at a grown-ass man playing hide-and-seek with the kids to try to get information about other stuff? What out the window? Kid went out the fucking window. Little friggin' ninja. Oh, you little friggin' ninja. See you. Come out. No fair. I'm supposed to win. Apparently, that kid is supposed to win. Where is the next one? Get one in here. Wow, there really? You, are. How'd you, find me? you didn't even fucking try, kid. Need to find one more. Of course, I have no idea where this one is. Just hiding behind some, you know, barrels. What do you mean? How can you be bad at hide and seek? You just find a spot and you go, like, chill in it and be quiet and stuff. Where's this friggin' kid?
Well, like, what kind of hiding spots did you use? Found you. You're the last one. Bet you cheated. Come to the cottage. I gotta tell the others I won. Found you all. Now you gotta keep your word and help me talk to Johnny's friend. Why wouldn't we? Promised, didn't we? Now we get to see what sort of weird shit's gonna go on here. Gram! Gram! Bumblebee bit Yagner in the arse! Gram! Come! Kid got bit in the arse by a bumblebee. Don't be afraid. Don't know nothing. I won't hurt you. They're so John Snowy. She's busy. Why are you scared to talk? You're not scared of nothing. You're all scared of something. You would have told me about Johnny otherwise. I'm worried about Johnny. He don't come around no more. Once, when we was mushroom picking, he has a burrow. But Gran yelled at me, said not to talk to strangers. Cause then kids go missing. She worries about Johnny too. Though she says he's made up. I just want to talk to Johnny. He could know more than you. Not gonna hurt him, right? Cause he's real. He's not made up. I'm not gonna hurt him. I might kill him. Just not gonna hurt him. Cause Gran like listening to his songs. When we was picking mushrooms, Johnny said he saw a girl with ashen hair in the swamp. Where can I find Johnny? There's a little meadow on the edge of the swamp. There's it's possible. A strange tree grows there. Could be a gnome or a tricksy little hobbitses. Thank you. All right, time to go kill Johnny. Johnny, you dead to me, Johnny. Oh, for fuck's sake, really? Drowners in this day and age. I don't even know if it's a gnome yet. All right, let's see if we can find Johnny. Holy shit, Johnny. You move around a lot. Small footprint. Johnny's been through here. Johnny also moves like crazy. Oh, hi, Johnny. Need to put away my suit. So many drowners. So many drowners. Where are you going, Jenny? Jenny. Oh man, Johnny moved quite a bit away. Tracks lead to a burrow. Wonder what's inside. Oh shit! It's called Johnny. I don't know if Johnny's an actual Johnny. boy. I don't know if he's a gnome either. I'm betting he's a necker. Oh my goodness! Don't be afraid. It has giant friggin' eyes, and it's an avatar person. for a woman with ashen hair. Seen her? 
Tell me everything from the start. Where did you see her? What was she doing? It's important to me. Why not? What's wrong? Can't talk? Why? Lost your voice? Can what? I help you somehow? He has such a disapproving face. Want me to follow you? No choice, I guess. All right, let's follow this little godling. Don't know what a godling is. But apparently it's tiny and has giant friggin' eyes. And I hear... Drowners. Watch out! It hits so friggin' fast. Stay close to me. Show me the way, child. And just go kick that section of corpse. How do you like the new armor, by the way, Mary? This the place? Let me look at <coughs> Something's on the ledge? Something that'll get you your voice back? Guess I gotta make this climb. Well, there's better than lame. Alright, how am I gonna do this? I'm gonna follow the directions for once. Oh, look at that, there's a random house. Let's see at this random house. It's locked. There's not even a fucking pond here. Let's do this. Let's go upstairs to this little, you know, crazy thing's voice box. You're fucking kidding me. Harpies. They're so saggy. Maybe he meant this bottle. Maybe he meant this bottle. Because we're all about the classics. Here. How did the harpies jack his voice in a bottle? I got magic. Happens. Slither! Ringworm! Rubbish! Bumblebee! Flabbergasted! Ha! The sound of it! Peter Piper, Pit Prince Proximo, and Pack of Pickle Peppers by the Pontar. <laughs> wow. I'm celebrating. My favorite words! Life without savoring the sound of surreptitious shenanigans is like licking snails through a cloth. Thank you for this, you noble whoever you are. Long be your life. 
Hang on a minute. I helped you, now you help me. Would you turn this beautiful act of altruism into a banal bartering of favors? Yes. How do you lock someone's voice in a bottle? Just wondering. Just as am I, curious. Especially as mine's a voice to crown all voices. Sometimes it's like a forest brook. At others, like a roll of thunder. And let's be honest, I talk enough to fill three barrels or more. Somebody used some powerful magic on you as a prank or just to be mean. How'd you lose your voice? One morning I awoke and opened hmm. my mouth for my usual bout of singing with the thrushes. Lo and behold, no sound escaped. I tried and tried, almost burst a blood vessel. Then I went to this the little village. bugger. As word has it, the new cunning woman works miracles. But people began crying out, a smudger, a smudger, and sick their dogs on me. Do I look like a smudger to you? Not a bit. Well, I thought not. So it must be the crones doing. Who else would curse me? Huh? Blackbird friend <clears throat> located my voice, but I was helpless to retrieve it. Couldn't ask a raven friend to just give you the bottle? Ravens serve the crows. They don't have no one. It's an angry little bugger. Ashen haired woman. See anyone like that? Did I ever? Remember it as if it were yesterday. Soon as I woke, I went to empty my bowels. My favorite part of the day. Defecating to the sunrise. Downright glorious. <laughs> Suddenly, heard a so loud it couldn't have been me. And that lass appeared, out of nowhere. Young ashen haired, just like you said. Wounded and panting to boot. She raced off towards the children's hut. Quick as if the crones were after her. I yelled some unpleasantries. She disturbed my mourn. Sadly, I'd lost my voice, so I don't think she heard me. Oh, are you going to try now, though? I've been to the village in the swamp, met a woman who might have been a crone. Did she seem confused to you? Nuts, completely. <laughs> so I'm not crazy. That's no crow. That's the granny who takes care of the orphans. Claims the kids made me up. Me. An orphanage in a swamp? What do you have against swamp? So what? You, you, you can't poop life. behind a log what while the sun's coming up? What do you know about the crones? They're as old as this forest. Just poop poop. Cruel. Vindictive. Not to be crossed. What if someone does cross them? Might take his voice. Might take his life. Depends on their whim. They're nasty. Although, they care for this land and its folk in hmm. their own way. Supposedly, they always keep their word. You must be careful what you ask for. Won't find them until they want to be found. So would you need like a wood bidet to be comfortable? Remember, they see and hear all that happens in the mire. She ran off toward the orphanage. Kids could know something, or the old woman who takes care of them. Oh, that old hag don't speak to strangers, and you're a stranger. Will she talk to you? I have spoken to her, got my ways. So be it. You helped me and I'm no bore. Come with me. All right, you little blue bugger. Let's go. It's really bright for midnight. Damn it. It's okay. I can. After I finish this fight. And loot the water egg, of course. Let's see, glossary, bestiary. No. Nope. Are they those? No. 
Oh, there we go. Godlings. Not too long ago, the area around peasant hamlets were so chock full of guardian spirits. Today, it's nigh into impossible to spot a brownie, bucka, or luden. And godlings, they are always the first to go, which is the price we pay for civilization's forward march. Godlings, sometimes mistaken for luton, are woodland creatures dwelling in burrows and moss-covered moss hollow stumps on the outskirts of human settlements. They are similar to children in the, their behavior and appearance, and like children, delight in mischief. Godlings are deeply rooted in their home territory and perform acts of care and guardianship to those dwelling in their burrows, dwelling near their burrows. They watch over people as well as animals, but shy creatures by nature, they try to do so while remaining unseen. Godlings are drawn to joy and innocence and so delight in the company of children, and usually only show themselves to the young. These hard-working and clever creatures gladly perform small services for those in their care, asking only for respect and payment in the form of food or cast-off tools in return. They are easily offended by churlish, ungrateful, or simply rude behavior. Godlings also treasure their peace and quiet. When the village a godling watches over becomes too populous or inhabitants forget the old ways, it will abandon its borough for good and walk off to destinations unknown. Did that satisfy? Good. It's clear. Not a crone in sight. I need to sing to Gran. That ought to calm her. Johnny softly gazed, fire waning pale. Hot but sparked, jumped out and whispered, Listen, I tell. I like him. You got your voice back. I did, though I seem to have lost an octave somewhere in the process. I shall look for it when I get home. You're not allowed here, Johnny. You shouldn't have come. Calm down, Gran. Don't get angry. It's not good for you. The woman I asked about earlier. Forgive me, Gran, but this fellow absolutely must talk to the lady. <laughs> no, she's not allowed. Please, it's important. The fellow will be quiet. Gran, please hear me out. I found little Yagna when she got lost, did I not? Did I break Jenny's fever too? I did. I ask anything in return? No. Didn't even fuss about my stolen voice. Well, now I want something. Gran, help this fellow. Because otherwise, he <laughs> hear me day and night, even during potty time. His lass is missing. Perhaps the ladies can help find her, eh? I like this little bugger. Since you put it that way, Johnny, I'll help him. Come Thank you, Gran. Thank you, Johnny. That is a bat. Johnny's a good, good lad. Though the ladies don't like him. No. Foul creature, they say. Don't like him. Who are the women in the tapestry? Those are the ladies. Foursome? Might be a crowd. With power over all. Beseech I thee. Answer my call. Before you a worm crawls, wretched and small. What are they going to be? Spirits? Is it going to be a portal? Am I going to get fucked up? Look at that face. 
disturb our rest, woman. I'm looking for the woman with ashen hair. I know you met her. Where is she? Oh, he's impatient. Perhaps he only likes ashen haired girls. Hmm. <laughs> She's my daughter by choice. I raised her. <laughs> if she's shapely, what does it matter? <laughs> wow, pervy. Matters to me. I believe we hit a nerve. He's bubbling like well beneath. This is interesting. Oh, that's how I like him. It's clear you met her. Hmm. Tell me everything. That was blunt. Well, perhaps it's for the best. Tell me, have you got bollocks? Do you, fear Do you have testicles? Do you fear beasts? Oh, no. hard times are upon this white-haired one. Brother has turned against brother. The land is soaked in blood. Evil reigns stronger than ever before. A dark power has served this near down warren. It feeds on hatred and disdain. Destroy the beast and we may be grateful. Tell you all we know about this ashen earth maid. Okay. I will kill a thing. Power. You need a knight errant or a witch hunter, not a witcher. The alderman of Down Warren will tell you all. Remember to collect payment from him after you complete your task. And now our servant will bring you the dagger. The dagger? What for? When the alderman sees this dagger, he'll know we sent you. He'll lead with all. Okay. I'll talk to the alderman, but I can't promise anything. Ooh, woman, give the young man the dagger. And you, white one. Return only once you've completed the task. Cod piece. Hi, Gran. Oh, you mistress, right on me way. Dagger, gotta bring the dagger. The dagger. For you. Ladies told me to give it to you. Here it is. The dagger. So what, I get a black screen? That is a hell of a dagger. Place the alderman's payment on the stone. Stone bear, stone shear, stone nose, stone ears. What the random fuck? Oh, Gran. Yeah, I'll take your meteorite pieces. I'll even check you downstairs. What do we got down here? Oh, yeah, this is good. This is real good, Mary. We walk downstairs into what looks like a place for a shitload of sacrifices to be going on. I wouldn't doubt that some of them are going to be human. We are in trouble, Mary. That must be the stone, so I'm going to have to get something and sacrifice it? Of course. And that's just how this is going to work. Oh boy, I wonder if it's going to be a goat. Think it's going to be a goat? I like the random sing song Godling. I want one. So I gotta go to Delmore. 
easy enough. Oh, Mary Poser. I gotta go talk to the elder man. What up, old guy? Greetings. Nice village. Boy. Ooh. Real pearl of the swamps. If you say so. You get uh, uh, right. Boy, uh, boy, uh, boy, Somehow we survive. Recognize this dagger? Why does he keep black screening every time I pull out this friggin' stupid punk of metal? Master. I didn't know you belonged to them. Don't belong to anyone. Down to business. I want to get this done quickly. Ah, so that's how it's to be. I'm supposed to help solve your problem. Tell me what it is. Just the essentials. The war awoke an ancient power. An evil one. Nightmares. On bloodshed. Nightmares haunt our nights and days. Folks sleepwalk from their homes, never to return. Under the tree on the Whispering Hillock they lie. Unburied all. Oh. Fathers, sons, daughters, and mothers. Folk are afeard to I wonder. You must go there. The dark powers must be cast off. Need more details. You must see for yourself. Me grand's mum whacked me crosswise for straying near the Whispering Hillock. But what happens hmm. there now is a wonder. Few times folk from round here gathered to chop down the trees and burn the cursed soil back to use. None returned. Hmm. The ground neath the weeds is white with human bones. When did all this start? Three years back. Three years. It was a warm day. Went to check the snares for game. Pulled a hair from me trap. It grew dark all of a sudden, though it was nigh on noontime. I thought it was a storm at first. <laughs> near burst me ears. The hair rotted in me hands. And the leaves shriveled and yellowed, though it were yet the start of summer. Times have been ill ever since. Folks' teeth turn black as charcoal. Women folk fight like polecats, bawling and brawling over nothing. Huh. The young'uns, born crippled, lame. Fear and cursing. Long have we pled for the lady's help. Ladies of the wood don't know what this power is. They know all. Old Thecla claimed they'd be punishing us. Folks stop respecting them. Some even call them witches. Mary, I need you to jump in this game with me. They sent you. I'll look around the whispering hillock. You be careful, Master Witcher. Don't ye treat this evil light. Okay. Promise not to eat the dog. It's all just advertisements. I should probably stop by this motherfucker though. Stop by this merchant, see what he got, unload some stuff. Where are you, bloody wanker? Hey! Asshole, sell me shit. Sell me shit. Horrible customer service. I'm going to have to burn the place down. I'm not. I haven't slept for like two weeks. Maybe that's why Geralt's getting a little bit twitchy. Dude never sleeps. Just running about, murdering motherfuckers. Anyone else? No? Good, fuck off. Drowners, man. 
Just leave a trail of them everywhere. People are going to be tracking me by the fucking dead little buggers. Looks like rain. What the hell? Ho 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 ho's. That's a fucking werewolf. Burn you little fucker. Who are you? Place of power. Should draw from it. Fucking werewolves, man. Oh yeah, this is probably not good at all. Come no closer. I know whence you come. Raise up the powers that protect me. They sense whence you come. Clearly, What's it Why gonna be? Have you come? Why spill this blood? Are you here to grant me death? Or is my freedom your wish? What the shit is that? Like a giant fucking posture. Who are you? I abandoned my circle. Where I have kept the balance. The crones killed me. And cursed my ghost. Never heard of a druid circle of them. I wanted eternally through a maze of vows. Helplessly sliding or rusty. Why did they kill you? Those want this land. They drew the wood alone. I stood in their way. I had to die. You claim to be imprisoned. How so? I am bound here. In fetters of magic. I am wounded and nemesis. A lovelance of me. The children. I know all. I know what to bring them. Free me, please. I must help. If something threatens the orphans, I'll help them myself. The children have been taken. Free me, please. I can't be a girl. A gallop unchained. What? I shall see. I, I... Only I can. 
I'm not sure that's a good idea. The crones. What do you know about them? The sisters are older than the oldest trees. Velen is their realm. All life here serves them. The sisters. It's creepy, so I should free it. Fuck it. I'm back. I've been waiting. <gasps> At art serving, death looms for the orphans. Free me. I. Alright, I'll help you. I'll help you. Imprisoned for years. I shall be free again. Break my fetters. Blood is my escape. A right you must perform. This sounds like a bad idea, Mary. This seems like a horrible, horrible idea. Got some raven feathers. Find my remains and bring me a mount. A wind-born steed. A black squall turned horse. Why do we need a black horse? The beast and I shall be as one. As when I There was a sacrificial chamber. That old lady is pretty tapped. A wild steed from meadows moist. Where will I find your remains? My bones. They lie in a solitary mound nearby, due west. I'll gather what I need to free you, then return. Gather and return to the Illimuk's depths. The trees rotten heart. Pierce my heart. Let blood glow to be born again. I must first be consumed. I know. It's freaking crazy. The shit. I don't know what to do either, Mary. This just seems like it's extraordinarily bad. And this seems like it's Ghostbusters levels of bad. Like shit is gonna go horrible. Really? Bitch? There's really no good way to go about this shit. I have to find this solitary mound. Gee, really? Strange bones. Don't seem human to me. So the bones are not human. Is 
Barry, we're gonna get everyone killed. Already put me on the trail. I don't know. Kind of want to do it. See what happens. I mean, there is, after all, a friggin' thing. Sacrificial altars. Badness. I mean, at worst, I'm going to have to slaughter everyone involved anyway. And either way, I'm going to have to do a sacrifice now that I think about it. Seems not good. Slower. Ready. We can start. Hey, at worst, I've awakened Cthulhu. Oh! Oh! Fuck it, I'm doing the ritual. did it. like a mile of not good. You just made a nightmare. Free the children. I shall. A word of Oh, we'll see what happens after. Magic. A place of power. Solved your problem. Just We're not sure still, yet. Avoid the whispering hillock for a while. Cannot be. Where's something lurking there? Not sure what was lurking there. But it lurks no more. What did you do, Witcher? Went up the hill, took care of the problem. The details are my concern. I truly said, I knows not of such things anyway. The crones. Yeah, we're not sure yet. It could still be bad and just biding its time. Payment. Take it, you know what they want? I, I do. Give me the dagger. Be back soon. Swear to God, if you bring me a heart. Ah. 
Oh, it's his fucking ear. There is payment. Take it to the ladies, will you? What the hell was that? It is our pact. Uh, you're a stranger. You don't know life here. It's honest pay for their protection. So, all those ears in the woods. Put it out your mind, Master. You soon be leaving, and we must tarry on our young'uns and their young'uns after them. No gods nor masters watch over Vela. The land is no man's. He who wants to survive must seek his own protectors. Wow. These crones need to be put down. It's fucked up. That's really fucked up. Apparently I leveled up somewhere in there too. I'm going to end all of you. You disobeyed us once more. We are forgiving creatures, but you, you who allowed the children to escape. They never wanted to play. They liked it here. They played. Your punishment must be harsh. Now silence! We must speak to the white-haired one. I know that, Mark. This is Anna, the wife of the Baron of Crow's Birch. She belongs to no man. Hmm. A fruit ripened in her womb. A fruit sprouted from seeds sown by a man she detested. We helped her. Huh. She agreed to serve. She bears the mark. She is ours. Come, it is another woman who interests you. Speak, white-haired one. You look different in the tapestry. We're all dressed up just for you. Huh. If you only knew how much time we spent in front of the glass. Do you desire us? No. I'm impressed. Polymorphism, a rare talent. Oh, I'd suck every last drop out of you. Ah, to be woven together with you? I'd be your best and last. I came for. <laughs> Our deal. I did my part. Now you do yours. A word once given, we never break. The girl, mousy blonde. That's what they call it. Thin as a rose, terrified, exhausted. She could barely stun the poor thing. We cared for her as best we could. You definitely have an arm in your bag. Like she was our own daughter. Wasted affection. She proved a very naughty girl. 
mischievous, oh. stubborn, and selfish. Well, you are creepy little weirdos. The young woman I seek never hurt anyone without cause. You've not seen her long. She's changed for the worse. Why'd she attack you? She's no longer the girl you once knew. Wrath consumes her. Don't believe you. They say you always keep your word. So tell me everything, exactly as it happened. We shall tell you, brave boy. That other one had some polio legs going on there. We knew someone supposed to die. We let beast and flowers for the omens. We would glimpse her likeness and mirage in a blood. She came from the lower swamp. We knew not at first it was she got the fucked up. spoken of. A child of the elder blood. The soul seed that would burst into flame. Corpulent. Very corpulent. She fell into our hands. Elder blood. Mm, the blood of the traitress. What? What is this traitorous? Does she sleep? Like a lamb. Come, sisters, no point in dawdling. The table set for Corvian bubbles. We cannot. You know she is meant for him. Emirates will get her. He will. But not home. Well said. We'll just have a sample. Ah. I'll take her feet. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Perfect for a broth. Ooh. I can taste it already. Very well. Get on with it. There is no safety for this chick. You regret that girl. Regret it dearly. This is not a good day to be a witcher. Keep going with your super random teleport power. I'm gonna have to get the horse to fucking help me kill these bitches. They crazy. Mary, they crazy. to slaughter these bitches but it's three on one this is not turning good mm -mm 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 -mm. Try to kill her. 
tried to butcher her like an animal and eat her. Oh, blood. The taste brought back the memories of our youth. Elder blood. Extraordinary girl. But you know that. Such a shame she fled. You tried to kill her. Can't forgive you for that. Waste of words. Our fates are bound true. But now is not the time for that to bear fruit. Now you shall chase shadows and wander midst fog. Each time you see her, she will be a mirage. And if you find her, if the girl will die <laughs> and see you, handsome knight. <laughs> I don't get to kill them. And now I found Anna. I'm gonna have to kill them. And I'm looking forward to killing them. I'm going to murder them so hard. Get back there. Just you wait, biddies. I got you figured. I got a silver sword. I got a steel sword. Anger issues. Because they took my babes. And no one takes my ta babes. Not in my town. Dr. Crow's Perch. What are we going to do, Mary? What are we going to do about this trio of fucked up bitches? Maybe. The horse does have a vendetta. But I kind of want to stab her myself. Just right in the face. Repeatedly. Until she dies. Oh, maybe I can get the lubricant to help me. Get the weird demon baby to help out too. Alright, Baron fucking ball bag. Time we had to talk. I'm listening. What do you come to me with? Gave Tamara your gift. How'd she react? Probably not like you'd have wanted. She threw the doll away. Threw it away? Gods are hoped, despite all. <sighs> but what of Anna? I found her. Plowing hell, why did you not say so forthwith? Where is she? Why have you not returned with her? She's in Crookback Bog. Got food, a place to live. And keeps herself busy. Didn't look like she had the slightest desire to leave. You were to bring her back, not report on the condition she lives under. I was supposed to find her, and I did. That was our deal, nothing more. Ha! <laughs> Fucker. You still think me rotten to the core? 
A base bastard, don't you? You believe I alone am at fault for what happened here? No, just didn't want to remove her from the crazy people. Doesn't matter what I believe. Yet, looking at you, I see contempt. Can't speak for the world you witches inhabit, but in ours, nothing is ever black and white. Probably gonna sure. say you're not the only one to blame. All right then, I'm willing to hear your side of the story. Why not? With Annie. Maybe we'll grow demon horse sight. eyes. A spear tore through my shoulder at the Battle of Anchor. She tended to my wound. Once I'd recovered, I asked her to marry me. She wept with joy. Soon after, Tamara was born. And after that, they sent me to Sidaris. Hmm. A warlord had risen against King Ethan, and Faltest sent help. It was one battle to the next, one conflict after another. It was a life of war. I was seldom home, and I found comfort in drink. Grew so fond of hooch, I couldn't part with it when I did get home. All right, what then? I went from front to front, battle to battle, collecting soldiers' coin while Anna sat alone with the babe for months. Later, I learned she'd not been so alone after all. For nearly three years, she'd found comfort in the arms of one Evan, a childhood friend, a dog's bunghole. Understand, damn it? <laughs> one tussle in the hay I'd have waved aside, put it out of my mind. But the woman cuckolded me for years. Without a whisker of concern for me, for my love. You How whining. Did you find out? Came home one day and Anna was gone. The things too. Found a letter. She wrote that she didn't love me. That she'd left me for that knob liquor and taken Tamara with her. Felt like I'd been rammed in the ass hmm. by a horse. I can see why. I went to find the bugger to get the girls back, bring them home. Wow. As as I saw him, something turned inside me, something dark. I slaughtered the shit eating twat and fed his carcass to the dogs. Wow. I imagine Anna wasn't exactly pleased. Ha! Not the understatement if I've ever heard one. She flew into a fit, hysteria, threw herself at me, kicking and clawing. Finally grabbed a knife. It would have been the end of me if I'd not leapt aside. It was the first time I hit her. I had to calm her. Felt I had no other means. Things changed. They would never be the same. Hmm. Anna tried to take her own life and mine several times. She would prod me, goad me, taunt me in the hope I would hit her again, perhaps. She'd scream that I'd robbed her a life of love, that I'd destroyed the idea for her and so I might as well kill her. How many times I apologized. How many armfuls of blooms and gifts I brought. She cared not a bit. Two years of her anger had turned to indifference. Broken at times were her bouts of hysteria and my bouts of drunkenness. Cannot fathom how we survived those years. Damn, life here but sucks. Now, as you know now, not everything was as it might have seemed. You're right. Faults on both sides, yours and hers. I'm content that you finally see that. Very well, then. If you won't bring Anna home, you might at least tell me how she landed in that blasted swamp. 
She made a pact with the crones and... Well, I think she might have lost her mind. A pact? What the bloody hell? She was with child. A child she didn't want to bear. Went to the crones for help. They promised to rid her of the problem in exchange for a year of her service. And they kept their word in their own twisted way. What do you mean? Anna must have thought the child inside her would somehow disappear. Instead, the crone sapped her of strength and ultimately forced her body to miscarry. Yeesh. I think that's when she started to lose her mind. Then they placed magic tethers on her. Tethers that cause great pain when tested. A guarantee she'll pay off her debt. A pact with witches. Bloody nightmare. Sounds like some jest. I am with you for once, Mr. Baron. Venturing into the swamp, even with armed men, is just a bad idea. It's a dangerous place inherently. And I think those crones are a greater threat than anyone realizes. I'll not sit on my ass waiting for them to return her. Would you wait? Count on their mercy if they had your daughter? Probably not. But I'm a witcher. And I'm a husband and a father who's fought off his life and the lives of his loved ones. I'll gather my men. Go there. You go, Mr. Baron Man. We had a deal. I've done my part. Your turn to do yours. A word once given. Yeah. Now, what did I last? Basilisk. It had just attacked you. Ah, right. Gargantuan. One solid brute. The bad news bears. I don't know, Mary. Seems like bad news. We landed right in front of us. I thought we'd breathed our last. Watch out! If I don't survive this, you're to take whatever you want from the fortress. You'll survive! Let's show this bastard what we're worth! Uh, hi. Recover. Yeah. What the shit is this? Come on, Basilisk. Let's go. Come on, bastard. Drop it. Ah, come on, I kick it down. I know that building. I think I know that building. Damn it! I can't leave him like that. Sure can. Damn it. I don't know what you want from me. Oh, I kind of do know what you're looking for. You do a whole lot of random fucking jumping. the next spot.
Where the shit is the inn? the other way before. Yeah, in the face of the brick. Teleporte! She can teleport like a maniac. <laughs> Teleporto. Don't know what that was. Go put it in your butt, butt lady. You have everything? Yes, thank you. What you did for me, I, I shall never forget it. certainly hope not. It's brought me no small trouble. Meaning? I must flee. Wraiths pursue me. The wild hunt. I was foolish to use the power. They're sure to have caught my scent. The wild hunt? It's dangerous. Pursuing you. I'll endanger all of you by remaining here. You must tell the people to bar their doors and windows. And no one is to wander the night. You? Where do you think you're going? Now, I ride for Novigrad, and then who knows where. Oh snap, Novigrad. Mary Posa. She mounted and rode off. It grew awfully empty without her. Redanian armies blocked the Pontar crossing, yet you sent Ciri to Novigrad. She was looking for a sorceress, and all of them are in Novigrad. Besides, I'd Mary Posa! Mary Posa! Mary Posa! So there's a chance Ciri's still in Novigrad. Thanks for helping her. It's nothing. Now you've learned what you wanted to know, you must be in a hurry. But. If you could spit it out, I want to go get Anna, free her, bring her back. I don't believe she's there willingly. Must oh, chance to kill those chicks? Any yeah. Journey into the swamp is suicide. I heard you, which is why I could use your aid. I've no more tales of Siri to offer you, but go with me, and I'll be generous with what I do have. Very generous. Hmm. Extra <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally in this for a vengeance. I'll round up my men and ride to Down Warren. You can join us there. Fine. Sounds good. Oh, of course. What the shit? What the shit is that? What 
was that? You tell me. Man or monster? My men call him Uma and say he's a beast. But he seems a man to me. Just hideous as Arnold's shit. Uma? Strange name. Huh. Aye, strange. But he gave us no other. You mean he can talk? Hardly. It was like this. I asked what they called him. He sat there, not saying a thing, trying to stick a towel up his nose. Oh, he's touched. So I grabbed his hand, looked him in the eyes, and asked, What's your name? Gave me this damn foolish look and stubborn. Ooh, Uma? And it stuck. Wow. Hmm. Doesn't look like a monster, but my medallion's trembling. Strange. Where'd you find him? Funny story, actually. I won him in a game of cards. Wow. Funny story. How so? Went to Novigrad once to rest, indulge in the city's pleasures. Stayed at a tavern and some folk they were playing, so I joined in. Cards were kind that day. Had one devilish hand after another. Robbed the horses blind. One fellow, a merchant, took it especially hard. He'd gambled away everything hmm. he'd brought from Skellige. Wanted terribly to play another hand, so... Yeah, I'm definitely going to be taking a, a break to heat up some food and do that right after this whole speechy thing. I'll give the man a chance to win something back. Luck was not with him. And Uma wound up here at Crow's Perch. End of story. Proper baron now. Even got a jester. Aye. Now I feel something's not right with him. How so? Well, he seems more beast than man. But there's wisdom, cunning in the bastard's eyes. Or maybe I'm imagining it. Never run into anything like him. No, but he doesn't look dangerous. Hmm. I guess that's that. Doesn't eat much, so as long as he's no trouble, the boys might as well have some diversion. Time I was on my way. So long. Farewell. I hope you find your daughter. And prove a good father to her. Babe. expecting to see that weird little touch thing just hanging out on top of a roof somewhere. We'll discuss that when we return. I shall be right back.
bum, 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 bum. There's that. Oh, hi. I was going to do stuff. Need to check my... Wow, I have a lot of junk. Check my inventory for good stuff. I have to go sell things. Those are definitely getting equipped. Foglet. Gravehag. New Wraith. Regular saddle. Okay, so the majority of that crap can get sold. Alright, let's go to the black truck and sell some junk. Yep, I'm gonna go and take out this little bugger. You get the cash. Let's see. I can go away. I'll keep the fog light. Anything else that I can sell you? I got plenty I can sell. Regular as parchment. 